Hi, today I want to introduce the imperative mood of the verb. After this lesson, you will be able to give commands or requests in Ukrainian language. In Ukrainian, the verb in the imperative mood changes according to the you singular and you plural respectively. Or in grammar words, the verbs are changed depending on the second person in singular or whether the second person in plural. Here, we have two forms of endings, depending on form of conjugation of verbs. For the first form of conjugation, the ending will be for you singular, ye, and for you plural will be te, sidate, to sit, to have a seat. You singular, sidai, sit. You plural, sidaite, sit, sidaite, to give, davate, davate. You singular, dai, give, dai. You plural, daite, daite, citate, to read. You singular, citai, read. You plural, citaite, read. Citaite, sluhati, to listen. Sluhati. You singular, listen. Sluhai, listen. Sluhai. You plural, sluhaite, listen. Sluhaite. For the second form of verb conjugation. The endings are the following. For you singular is i, and for you plural is ich. Let's see the examples. Robiti, to do, to make, or to work. You singular, robi, work. Robi, you plural, robiť, robiť, work. Pisate, to write. You singular, pishi, write, pishi. You plural, pishit. Write, pishit, skazate, to tell, skazate. You singular, skazhi, tell, skazhi. You plural, skazhit, tell, skazhit. Please try to conjugate the other verbs, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask me.